G'day everyone, welcome to Animal Tales with Tim Faulkner. That's me. And today, I'm talking Eastern Quolls. Now, Eastern Quolls are a native Australian carnivorous marsupial. Some of their relatives are other species of quolls and things like Tasmanian devils, carnivorous marsupials. Their family is called Dasyurids, that means a pouched carnivorous marsupial. There are four species of quoll in Australia. They all live in different areas and they are all endangered. One of their greatest threats is the feral fox and the feral cat. They don't get along with quolls and the feral fox and feral cat were introduced here by humans only a couple of hundred years ago. Quolls are one of my favourite animals and even just to look at them they are so beautiful and the eastern quoll its coloration is still camouflage so you can get them in all black or all fawn but what they both have is white dots and we look at the white dots and see they stand out we see those white patches but you've got to think quolls are nocturnal they're awake through the night time now at that point you've got the moonlight and dark shadows and those white dots actually help them blend into the environment and it's called disruptive camouflage. That's why they have them. Now let's start at the quoll's head and have a look at its body. Now it is a little predator. Eastern quolls, they actually eat a lot of insects, so they're not hunting really big prey, but they are vicious little predators. And if we start at the head, have a look at the jaw. It's still quite muscular and you can see that muscle around the lower jaw and you can see the muscle up on the head and that helps with its bite pressure. Now its teeth are quite sharp and not that different to a dog or a cat. Uh, its eyesight is very reasonable. It doesn't have eyesight like a peregrine falcon, but its vision is quite good. Its sense of smell is really developed. They have large ears given their overall body size and a great sense of hearing. Now if we move down along the body, they run on all four legs. They can use their front hands to eat, to dig, but whenever they run, it's on all fours. Eastern quolls live in Eastern Australia. They used to be found from Queensland, right through New South Wales and Victoria, but they went extinct on the mainland, mostly because of the introduced feral fox. Their safe haven is Tasmania, but they live in open woodlands, eucalypt woodlands and grasslands, and that's where their prey is. And they're nocturnal, so they sleep during the day, and where they take shelter is in big hollow logs, under rocks, uh, old wombat burrows, anywhere they can hide from the daylight and predators. Quolls, like most carnivorous marsupials, are typically solitary. Now, it's not unheard of that multiple quolls can be denning together or where they sleep, but they don't hunt in a pack or anything like that. They are largely solitary. Eastern quolls have a very specific breeding season. Now, in uh, late autumn, early winter, the male and female mate. Uh, that's a very quick process, less than a day. And the female is pregnant for a really short time, like 20 days. And she gives birth to joeys that are the size of grains of rice. Now those joeys, once given birth, they crawl up into the pouch and they can have six at once. So the first six that get to the teats are the first six that survive. And over the next six months, they grow. They develop their eyes, their ears, their fur and coloration, and they become mini replicas of mum. After about six months, they wean. And weaning is when they stop drinking milk and they start eating solid food. We all wean at some point, and once they wean, not long after they become independent. They leave their mum and they start their own life cycle. Eastern quolls have a varied diet. They are carnivores, but at times, they will also scavenge on prey that has already died. But a lot of their diet is built up of insects, moths, beetles, grubs, grasshoppers. They will opportunistically hunt small birds, small native rodents, reptiles, and amphibians. They have a really diverse diet. Eastern quolls are a flagship species at Aussie Ark. They used to be on mainland environments and they've gone. That doesn't mean they don't belong there. And we have over a hundred Eastern quolls and we work to make sure they have a future in Tasmania and a future in Aussie Ark sanctuaries. Your homework for today. I mentioned earlier, there are four species of quoll in Australia. There's another couple up in New Guinea. But of the Australian four species, what are they? They each have different names. I want you to list the names and I want you to tell me where they are found. Now, if you feel like doing a bit more or for the little ones, 
please draw me the four quolls. Now I know that they look similar, but there are subtle differences. Some are bigger than others. Their coloration varies just slightly. Look into it, do your research, put it in the comments. That's all for today, see you later. Thanks for watching everyone. Now, the keepers and I are looking after all of our animals and our families, but we all have a bit of extra time at the moment, like you probably do too. So this is a great distraction for us, and hopefully you. Now, if you like what you've seen or want to show me your homework, just put it into the comments. This is what I do, connecting people with nature, and that can't stop. I'll see you next time.